Salido from the Jack of All Trades YouTube channel. Hopefully you guys are having a good DIY project and if you're not, hopefully we'll learn something from each other, right? So today I'm going to be talking about my above the ground 16 by 10 best way pool. I got this thing for about $400 at Walmart and it came with your generic uh, filter cartridge pump. Now those things are a nightmare. I don't know what those are supposed to be cleaning but anybody who has a pool, if you're watching this, you probably have a pool, above the ground pool. They all come with those little pumps and it's just, they're kind of useless quite honestly. So I opted to change things up so that I could become more efficient at cleaning the pool, enjoying it more, and doing less maintenance. Now a lot of this I bought bit by bit. It really went above the projected budget that I had in mind. I was hoping to spend maybe about $300 to do this whole project, but you'll see here that I spend way a lot more than that. I don't regret it. Uh, I enjoy the pool a lot more. I can honestly say that we just kind of jump in and out at will. We really don't have to worry about any maintenance at all other than you know making sure that some of these things are operating properly. But other than that, I think it was worth the investment. So without further ado, I'll go ahead and show you what I created for my above a ground pool. Alright guys, here you can see where I purchased a skimmer on Amazon for about $35. So I did this while the pool was actually already set up. So you can see here by this picture that I lowered the water level where I could comfortably work on this project. Then I ended up getting the inner frame, simply place it against the pool wall, grab myself a sharpie, I then ahead and mark the cutout area, make the cutout with a utility knife very carefully because you don't want to go beyond the lines because then that would possibly um, call for some leaks on your liner. Then I just simply followed the instructions. You can see here where it is already installed and this is what the end product looks like through the back of the pool. So on the back of the skimmer, you can see where I installed a ball valve that cost me $5 at Home Depot. I did this so that I can go ahead and shut it off. No water would start uh, going through the pipe and I can perform the maintenance for the filter, which I will show you in a little bit. So I had an old pump that I bought at Harbor Freight uh, for about $100 at the time. I don't even think they make these anymore, but um, I went ahead and used it for this project uh, since it was just sitting around. I figured I could convert the pump or the filter box that came with the pool originally, and I could just use it to go ahead and filter out the uh, water that was being skimmed. Hopefully this makes sense to you guys once uh, you see the video and you see the uh, pictures. So kind of been posting the picture so that you can get a general idea of what I'm talking about. So basically what I ended up doing is I installed the skimmer. You can see there on the water line, the water goes down. Then into the old filter box that I converted so that I can keep using those cartridge filters that you can buy at Walmart for about $15. They usually come in a pair. It goes over to that water pump, which then returns the water into the pool. So essentially, it's skimming pretty good, uh, filtering it out for any larger debris, and keeps the water nice and clean up at the top. And here it is, guys. Skimmer installed. Starts skimming, skimming at the top. Goes down. Ability to shut it off. Goes into the old filter box with cartridge into the pump and back into the pool. The bottom drain was a lot harder to do as you can imagine. I had to wait till the winter so I can drain the pool. Went to Home Depot, bought a shower drain and then used the gasket that um, is provided with the kit, that black gasket. So I went inside the pool, got right in the center of it, drew my circle with a sharpie and then again using my utility knife just very very carefully and slowly made the cutout for the hole. Once I had completed the cutout for the drain I went underneath uh, the liner and installed the drain kit as securely as I could. Uh, it was very simple basically it's just uh, based on pressure there's a gasket at the top there's a gasket at the bottom and it's pinching the liner 
I secured it or tightened it up as best as I could, as much as I could, so that I did not have to worry about any leaks or anything in the future. Uh, once that was installed, I went ahead and started cutting my PVC pipe and making my elbows so that I can run the pipe all the way from the center to the edge of the pool as you can see here. So this is the finished product. This is the PVC pipe sticking from underneath uh, the drain area. You can see where I put all the fittings so that I can just get the stock hoses that came with all the filter uh, pumps and, and the pool itself and connected straight to it. So all that PVC and that bottom drain is connected to this Intex Crystal Clear sand filter that I bought for about $200 on Amazon. This thing is a beast, guys. I mean, you can see some of the dirt particles underneath the pool on some of the other pictures and videos. Because I live in a construction area, my subdivision is brand new, so they're continuously just building things, and I get dirt in the pool all the time. All we got to do is get into this pool, start swishing around, and this will clean it right up. I mean, it's just that efficient. And that is connected to this Summer Wave Salt system. Now, I got this for $5 at Walmart during the winter. I happened to be shopping um, with my wife. I passed by the clearance section, and lo and behold, this was actually $5. I couldn't believe it, so I actually picked it up, put it, installed it. It's okay. It's not the best product out there. I continuously have to manually push the button to get it to operate for 12 hours or so. So it's not something that's automatic, but it's doing the job and it's better than nothing. But for $5, you can't beat it. And here's the final product. So the water goes through the drain, down the PVC underneath its little trench, goes through the stock pipes into the sand filter. From the sand filter, it goes out through the salt cell and then back into the pool. So here it is guys, the final product. I will say that this was piecemeal together, so is isn't something that I did in a weekend or I set out to buy all at once. Uh, like I told you, I had some parts laying around, I bought some things on Amazon, others were on clearance. But the final product is there, uh, it is something that I am very very happy with. Like I stated earlier, I live in a subdivision that is brand new, so there is dirt flying all over the place, and this was very dirty. Um, I am maintaining this crystal clear for very little maintenance, so I couldn't be happier. Hope you guys enjoyed this. Uh, until next week, in the meantime, keep on DIYing. This is Jack of all trades.